This is the very magnificent lobby of 1550 State. We'll head upstairs, but this is what welcomes you just when you come in off the street. This is Nancy Joyce. She's showing us a beautiful condo today here at 1550 North State Parkway with a view right out over the park. Nancy, you know quite a bit about the history of this house, this building. Tell me some. This building was designed and built by Benjamin Marshall um, in 1912. It's one of his earlier efforts in Chicago. He was the darling at the time. He went on to do things that were a little more Georgian in aspect and a little more serious. But this is People his glorious... Drive. <laughs> he did. Oh. And, and he, this was... And this was his early effort when he was feeling very French. So it has very, very much... Um, it's a very French Beaux-Arts architecture. And what makes this apartment, yeah, the apartment number 302, so unusual is that his paneling that he did originally is still intact in this apartment in this beautiful drawing room living room which is 41 feet long. This room is 41 feet long and I was trying to get the pilasters there. I think I have them but we should also the wood and the light. This is really a fantastic room. Now this is the formal dining room, faces straight east with a wonderful terrace, one of four terraces, has the view of the Cardinal's Mansion that we four were talking about, and partial lake views. Oh, sure. You can have as many leaves in your table as you like. This room goes <laughs> on and on. This is big. Oh, this is terrific. Or have two tables. Beautiful. And the chandelier, the nice molding on the ceiling, the doors, this is, it's such a grand room. This chandelier is quite special. It's French and it was purchased by the son of the owners, especially for this room. It's wood and was oh, wired cool. for electricity. It's quite a marvelous piece. It's wood? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And you can see how it was wired. You can hardly tell where the electrical wires are with it, so it looks almost the way it did when it was used originally with candles. Oh, wonderful. The kitchen dates from when? The uh, owners purchased this, these two units and combined them about 15 years ago and they had the assistance of a very well-known interior designer, Tony Grunsfeld. No, no wonder. The and kitchen looks great. These nice white panels, this is terrific. The owner is a major, major cook. So this is a very very used, very usable kitchen space with a lot of counter space. The wonderful thing is it has tremendous light. I was going to say it's probably very, very well used in part just because you can sit out here, sit out off the kitchen over Lincoln Park. Exactly. Wonderful. Name any other buildings where you could do that. I, I can't think of one. This and a wonderful grill, which they use quite a lot. The advantage of this building being just off the drive is you don't get that six or eight um, traffic lanes of noise. Oh, right. But yet you have this wonderful view through the park and it's a very human view because you can see if we look out now, dogs and their little owners playing around even though it's a very cold day. You look up into the new running field, or the new soccer field for the Latin school and just beyond that you see the south end of Lincoln Park Zoo. Oh, it's wonderful. Come on in, we'll look at the master bedroom. And there's a second bay. There's a bay just like the one in the living room, right? This is the bay that matches in the same oh. dimensions the living room bay that looks straight east. Wow. Yeah, I think I, this would be a great master bedroom. I see they're using it as an office. They have another room as the master, but mm -hmm. this would be a terrific place. Imagine waking up right about here on a summer morning, or really on a spring morning when all these trees are in bloom. Now, right now the master suite is, has another bedroom to it. Yes, mm -hmm. it uses this original master bedroom uh, room that we just saw as an office, and then they use a second bedroom here that also has a terrace as the actual master with the bed. And this has a small little bedroom uh, bathroom okay. attached. Now, you were, I think you were telling me earlier, this would have been, how was this laid out? Originally? Not to confuse you, but when this was an 8,000 square foot apartment, this would have been the original gentleman's bedroom. And he got the small bathroom in a very tiny closet in the corner there. Very tiny. Uh, it's worth you seeing where he could stow his clothes. <laughs> his three suits? That's about it. Oh my gosh. Right. 
Tiny, it tiny. Even count as a closet now. <laughs> exactly. And he would have had this little balcony. Yes, and he could smoke his cigars in peace here. <laughs> and then the lady of the house got the big room that we just saw just with the big bay window. And let's see the master bath, which of course is not sure. the way it was when they were here, but this master bath is really nice. Nice creamy tile. This is terrific. As you can see, the tiles are huge slabs of stone that have been cut and they're matching. Oh yeah, this shows it right here. That is excellent craft. That's terrific. So it's like a continuous piece and you don't even see the mortar in between. And the same with the walls. Oh, the walls. Oh yeah. 